Hi everyone. I am very happy to have an amazing client of ours, Diane, and her husband, Bob. And we just wanted to share a little bit because, because of surgeries that Diane has had, and it's, I know it as gastric bypass surgery to lose weight. You call it the... It is a gastric sleeve. It's a different operation with the same intention. Okay. They like it for, they use it for different purposes and different patients and the doctors decide which of the two procedures is best for your individual case. In order to lose weight. And so just to talk about our intention for this conversation is just for Diane to be able to share a little bit about one of the consequences, which is hair loss. Yes. It can be minor, it can be severe. Either way, um, it's a choice about between your hair and your life. I, for one, chose my life. Hmm. And I said, however much hair I lose, if I lose um, the hair, I will find a solution. But if I am this kind of weight, I am sick. I can't do anything, I can't go anywhere, I can't enjoy anything. I'm mm -hmm. too tired, I, and everything hurts. So how much weight did you, have you lost? Well, that's the fun part. You see, I had it at what is considered an advanced age, and they told me to expect to lose 40 to 50 pounds. And I lost 100. Wow, and how many years ago was this? Five. And so did you, sorry, but I'm gonna ask you questions. Please. So that we can stay on the specifics of this. So. Did your doctor tell you that hair loss might be part, might be going on during the healing after the surgery? Specifically, he did not, but the, they prepare you with specialists. They check your psychological readiness for the surgery and many other things. And then they start telling you these are the things that can happen. And hair loss is right at the top of the list. Okay. So what? So, how soon after the surgery did you notice a difference in your hair? Tell you the truth, my own hair is very, very long, so at first I didn't notice. Hmm. Until I realized that, well, when your hair is like this long and you fill up the hairbrush, it takes longer than when your hair is mm -hmm. <laughs> really long. And Di Diane's hair is very long. It's like down to here, just so, so you know. So when she loses one hair, she's losing two feet of hair, of hair every hair. So, so what so did I, you do? But then I saw that my hairline was moving backwards. And then I mm. saw that along my usual part line, it was getting wider. And then I realized there was a patch that had almost no hair at all somewhere back in here. Wow. And, um... I hadn't lost that much hair since the, la the last time I had a baby. And this was good, while it wasn't a severe hair loss, it was a good bit of hair and it was certainly noticeable. And on top of that, my hair is changing from brown to gray. Mm -hmm. So um, the brown was falling out and the gray wasn't quite ready to grow in. It was quite a problem. So what did you do once you once you realized you clearly were not happy with the hair loss. I started with hats, I wore scarves, mm -hmm. I can tie a beautiful turban, um, but uh, it's not quite the same. I still wear scarves, oddly enough, with my hair pieces. Um, I still wear my hats because hats really rock. Can I but, take this off to please. show your beautiful tailor wig? Isn't this, I'm just <laughs> absolutely enchanted with this. Sandy Silver. <laughs> My personal favorite. So what brought you to us, or what brought you to come to terms with wanting a wig? Because I want our clients, our, our, our viewers, to understand that our ha experiencing hair loss could be through this type of weight loss surgery, could be stress, could be other surgeries. So what, how did you what were the steps you took to oh. get to a wig? Uh, I was bemoaning my situation on a, a Facebook page specifically don't about mm. uh, the surgery and its consequences. And um, 
one of the ladies had a far more extreme reaction than I did. She said, all you have to do is get yourself a good wig and nobody's going to know. Mm. A wig. Well, I've worn wigs before. I love wigs. I've worn wigs all my life. But as a solution to the hair loss that <laughs> never connected for some reason. So you were wearing wigs for, for pleasure, for enjoyment, for con convenience, but not because but you not, really needed. No, it, okay. it, it just didn't even dawn on me. Uh, interesting. I didn't even think of the bright idea of getting myself a topper. But that lit up and I started looking around and I, because I am a dedicated um, YouTuber, watcher, I accidentally happened upon this fascinating video with a lady who was going through chemo. And a gracious and kind lady who was helping her through that problem. Hmm. And that lady's name was Rochelle. Oh, oh, that was me. That was you. Okay. Yes, you have to take all the blame. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. You wow. can't complain about it. You're not the one who pays for them. Wow. Well, so, that's uh, great. So you found us just just because watching on YouTube. Just watching on YouTube, I came across you in the process of looking for something to solve my problem. Hmm. And then I made, paid a visit to the web page and I was hooked. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, you know, just drag me in and bone me and put me in the frying pan. You, I was caught. So how many wigs do you have now, roughly? Fourteen. And you, you switch short, long? Or short, you... long, light, dark, oh. silver, old, black, oh. red. Okay. And so... <laughs> no two no are alike. So... How has, emotionally, how has it helped you having the selection of wigs? How has it helped me? I can't think of any way it hasn't helped me. Wow. Uh, I get a lift by seeing myself change from a short-haired pixie-looking lady to a very romantic long-haired looking lady to a very sophisticated, elegant lady with a uh, fancy updo. You do it all. I do it all, and I'm always looking for more. How can I get creative with this little mm. piece of hair in my hand? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what it's supposed to do, but what else can it give me? Mm -hmm. And I take that view on life. What else can this give me? Mm -hmm. And maybe I would like a little fuller, he a little more here. Maybe I'd like a little more there. Oh, where's that wig? It does all those things. I'll take that wig, too. Great. And that, to me, Diane, I love that you're sharing this. I really appreciate you sharing with the audience because there's, you know, everything doesn't go as perfectly planned in life. And some clients... I received their comments out of our 450 videos were commenting all the time and some clients aren't leaving their home because they lost their hair. They don't want to leave their home. They're, I didn't. You didn't. For how long did you stay home? Oh, I didn't exactly stay home because I always had to go out, but I never went out with my head uncovered. Okay. Okay. And when I did go out, um, so I was a little self-conscious, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like, it, it's like some part of you, it's not lost, but misplaced. You know, that where's my keys feeling? Or where did I leave my cell phone? That feeling, but deeper. Mm -hmm. When I got my first wig, my first wig was Freedom and Sandy Silver. Mm -hmm. Just enchanted with the whole way it looked. And I put it on my head because I can't wear short hair. My hair won't do it. Weave and edit. Be most healthy, it simply won't. It's worn long because that's the only thing it will do. A haircut is a traumatic experience. I put this on my head and it went up and it went forward and it went down and mm -hmm. it flipped out and I went, oh my God, I love this. Why can't my hair do this? Yeah. I think everyone should own Freedom. It's a great first your, wig. If you have never owned a Godiva wig, your first wig has got to be Freedom. You will be absolutely delighted with it. I don't care, tall, short, 
it, older, it, younger is great. So love it. So has your uh, hair grown back? Some of it. Okay. Not all of it. And so do you, you continue to wear wigs now? But I also the... have a little bit more confidence to go out as myself. Good. Excellent. Which is rather uh, surprising. Well, I've got all these wigs that can cover it up. Why would I go out with my little inch or so of receding mm -hmm. hairline? Mm -hmm. Somehow or other, because I know I can look any way I want to, any time I want to, mm -hmm. how am I any different with a wig on or a wig off? Mm -hmm. It's me. One way or the other. Right. It's still the you. confidence is that I got from the wig bled over. That's what it does. Our wigs can become our best friends if we let them. And so, Bob, I want to ask you, because you were a part of this whole experience with Diane. So during the hair loss, um, just in sharing with maybe the husbands when their wives aren't happy about their hair or having a surgery and the trauma, it creates hair loss. I mean, really, no matter the surgery. Any yeah. words of wisdom for the hubbies out there or the wives? Yeah, if your wife's going to do it, the only way it's going to be successful if it's 100% support. Uh, I took over most of the kitchen duties and came up with the liquid diet. And even to this day, everything she gets is weighed and measured. Great. So set it, yourself up it's for the success. Same, it's the same, it works the same way with the wigs. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob does not control what wigs I buy or what colors I choose or anything of the sort. But if I can't make up my mind between two wigs and there's only enough money for one, I will say, which one do you like better? That one. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. And when we're going out, I will sometimes lean out and say, what, what color are you fancy tonight? That's what I do with my husband. Who do you want me to be? <laughs> well, well, you're always Diane. <laughs> exactly. Yes. But it's fun. You know, even the best relationships, even the best wig can get a little boring, a little stale. And having different looks, I mean, it just can liven things up. It's playful. We don't have one channel on TV. And everybody we, has different facets to their personality. Right, right, right. Well, I, you, do, you two, in the brief time I've spent with you, you are just so fun and loving and positive. And like, what other way is there to be? We can be negative, we can mm -hmm. whine, but when, there's, when there are solutions, and so for women with thinning hair or going through a temporary time, if there are solutions in great wigs, why not? It's like, have a great wig or continue to be in the fear of mm -hmm. it. So I recently had dinner with my son who did not know anything about my fat fondness for wigs. Uh, he's only known me with long hair and uh, I showed up in my freedom with the you know, whatever way I preferred to wear it most. And the first thing, he stopped short and he said, well, that's a change. Why didn't you do that before? <laughs> he thought you had your hair done. I thought done. I had uh, gotten my hair colored wow. and cut, and he really liked the style. When I told him it was a wig, which I laid out quite bluntly, really? Yeah, <laughs> and tomorrow, I, well, why didn't you just do your hair? Because tomorrow I want long hair. And next week, That's maybe great. I want it medium length. Yes. Or maybe I want to be redhead. Yay! Fellow wig lover. I brought him around. That's amazing. And you're definitely a red haired personality. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fiery and vibrant and creative and fun and spontaneous and open. Open to what life brings. So I really want to thank you, both of you, for sharing. I know the women and some of the husbands that we'll never meet. I really believe that this little conversation can really help them. So thank you very much. Okay? My pleasure. Great. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.